Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. What we're going to do here is we're going to do an opening of the Meowth VMAX Special Collection box. We'll see if this is an uh, epic gain or an epic failure. Um, this is so cool. This introduces the new uh, mechanic in the Pokemon TCG called VMAX. So I think it's kind of similar uh, basically to like your tag team... Um, mechanic when it was introduced you get extra prize card and everything it has a little vmax thing down here as you can see and you could get a better uh view of it after i open it up and it says vmax rule when your pokemon vmax is knocked out your opponent takes three prize cards okay but they're pretty hefty i mean that is a pretty hefty hit point right there and that is definitely going to be hard to knock out for sure that's absolutely for sure now this this bad boy comes with uh, one foil Pokemon card featuring Meowth V, one foil promo card featuring Meowth V Max, one oversized foil card featuring Meowth V Max, uh, five Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a code card for the Pokemon trading card game where you get the Meowth V, Meowth V Max, uh, in so that you can play with it online as well. And the art on this is so cool. I mean, I think this is really awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this bad boy and see what we get. So, let's see. Let's go up the side here. So I can slide everything out. Try to be as careful as I can here. Okay. side and i think this is kind of cool how they set this up they actually put in um they actually put an extra little buffer here as you'll see in a second uh it comes with uh guardians rising put the cup over there comes with an evolution Comes with a Unified Minds, and I think it's two Cosmic Eclipse, or is it two? There's one Cosmic Eclipse, and here is uh, two Cosmic Eclipses, okay. So we'll carefully remove this big jumbo card. Look at how dope that looks. That looks awesome, right? That is so cool. Meowth is, Meowth is kind of big right there. Gigantamax. All right, so we set that aside. And this is what I meant by that extra little buffer. See how this is kind of cool? Uh, has this thing here it keeps the it keeps the promos in place now some of these other boxes you have to sit there and you have to like you know it's got a little ledge and you have to be careful how you take it out and make sure you don't damn it has like a little ledge like that that comes up further usually and it'll hold the card in place so you have to worry about you know being careful taking it out and not damaging um you know not damaging the promo when you when you take it out so okay so there's the Meowth V and the Meowth V Max they are definitely really cool looking, you know. I mean, this is—I mean, this is this is by far one of the coolest little uh, full art promos. Has that little circular thing there, kind of shifted around a little bit. I know the lighting is a little is a little off, but is it's kind of cool. His eyes look pretty uh, pretty bad right there. He's like, "Oh, yeah, I'm gonna eat you." <laughs> All right, so let's get down to business. Let's see what we get. We'll start off with opening up first cosmic eclipse pack see if we get anything good all right hopefully we do we'll see we will see and at the end here i'll drop some of the codes that i get out of the code the codes that i get out of the pack here for anybody that views this and they can take a look and see and i'm just going to go one at a time so everybody can see oh maybe i got something i don't know i see a foil back there it's just regular foil i think though Seal. It's a seal. It's a seal. Beware. All right. Ooh, we're Cynthia Caitlin. That's a great supporter. Definitely one of the best supporters in the game um, right now, as far as uh, standard play goes, for sure. Definitely. This is excellent card, so we'll set that aside. And Chaotic Swell, which is also an underrated card, in my opinion. I mean, Chaotic Swell just destroys destroys stadiums. 
So if you play a deck that doesn't really evolve around a stadium or you wouldn't get much benefit from a stadium, you just play this. And what I think is really cool about this, I think this is actually a very underrated card. I never really talked about this, but it says whenever either player plays a stadium from their hand, discard that stadium card. After discarding this one, the new stadium card has no effect. So basically, um, as you may know in the games uh, and the rules of Pokemon, if there's a stadium out and somebody plays another stadium, it destroys that stadium. So basically, if you had a Chaotic Swell in your hand and somebody had another Giant Hearth or uh, Verdian Force, something that allows them to search for energy or whatever benefits them, you could play this, destroy that. Then they have to play another one from their hand, destroy this, and then that gets destroyed. So it's, it's a double whammy. I mean, triple whammy. All right. So, you know what? We're going to skip the Cosmic Eclipse. We're going to go to the Evolutions. Evolutions pack. See if we get anything out of here. Maybe like a full art Charizard. Mega full art Charizard. Wouldn't that be sweet? I doubt it, but that would be nice. So we'll go one at a time and we'll see what we get. Got Char Char. Got Magmite. Got my Water Energy. Got my Growlithe. Got my Machamp. Ooh, Shiny Zapdos. Zapdos. Set that aside. Pokédex, Potion, Magmar, and a code for y'all. Use that code, use it up. All right, and we're gonna go to the Unified Minds pack and see if we get anything good out of Unified Minds. Now, let's see a Charizard, huh? Let's see a Charizard. That would be sweet. Magmar. Tynamo, Tate, Foil Dratini, that's a cool looking card. I like his ability too. The Aqua Lift, uh, that's pretty cool. This Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. So if he's your, you know, he could be your starter, you know, if you're using um, anything that, you know, if you're using him, you could have him as your starter, just throw water energy on him and retreat him for nothing, right? So we'll put that over there. And that's our rare. Obama Snow. Obama Snow. Dragon Air. Oh, <laughs> and I was just mentioning Giant Hearth, wasn't I? With the Chaotic Swell, I was just mentioning that's pretty funny. This is a great card. I use this in my deck. Uh, I have a, a Blazy Blazy deck, as I call it. It's also on my YouTube channel here. Um, you can check out how that goes. This is It's got four Giant Hearths in there because it's key to the deck. For that code I will save. I'm gonna put the giant hearts over there because that's worth a couple bucks. And that code I'm gonna put at the end. I'm gonna put the that code and these other codes uh, at the end of the uh, video here. Hopefully you guys can go online and get something good. Appreciate you just taking a look. Tepig, a little Sandshrew, Snorunt, another Sphere, we'll set that aside, and Sunflora is the rare. Not, not some of the greatest stuff yet, but we'll see if we get anything. See if we get anything from the Guardians Rising pack, would be nice. Looks like this has turned out to be an epic fail, folks. I don't know. What can we get out of Guardian Rising? Whoops, in Guardian Rising again. I forget what, like Tapalele or something like that. You get one of them, like Full Art Marshadow or something like that. I forget all the cards that were in Guardians Rising. But... Found it. Stuffle. Slowpoke. Wishy Washy. Nose Pass. And Blissey, Foil Blissey. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's our bomb. Full Art Metagross GX. So sweet. At least we got something, huh, folks? At least we got something. That's nice. That's a cool looking card. That's pretty dope. I mean, it depends on the light angle, how it is. I mean, you can see how the light shines off of it. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, what was his ability again? Oh, Geotech System. Once during your turn before your attack, you may attach a metal energy or a what is that? Psychic or metal? Energy. 
energy no it's psychic or metal energy card from your discard pile to your active pokemon wow the lighting in here was <laughs> a little bad there it took me like a 20 second pause there to figure out exactly what it says but that's cool you just bring it from your discard pile and put it on your active pokemon that is sweet like that fable and a marini it's kind of cool looking nice all right so here i'm gonna set this aside move this out of the way here there is the one uh code that i got i gave away in the beginning there we're gonna move this nice big old meowth guy here we're gonna put him here we'll kind of spread out and see what we got, we got our full art Metagross, Blissey, Sphere, got a giant hearth, Genie, a Zapdos, Cynthia Caitlin, and then of course the two promos, which are uh, awesome. That is such an awesome little card. I love that card. I love the way it looks. It is just so cool looking. All right, so let's drive these off of here without messing up anything. Alright. That bing bang boom. Put those bad boys on the top like so. Bazinka bazinka. Alright. Get this garbage out of the way here. Okay. And so here I'm gonna give away the codes that are in the pack. Alright, so take advantage of these. We'll zoom in in a second so you can get a really good uh, a really good shot of those codes so that you guys can use them and hopefully get something good. All right, a little crooked there. Let me fix that a little bit. There you go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys get some good pulls if you play online. Use up those codes. Don't forget I put a code um, in the beginning of the video too, within like 30 seconds or 40 seconds, like the first pack I opened, I gave away a code as well. Make sure you take advantage, use that. Thank you, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Leave a comment about what you think about the new VMAX mechanic, if you think it's really much any different than the tag teams. Cause in all honesty, I don't. I like, I like new mechanics, I like new things when they come out. But I mean, you get three prize cards. Um, it's very similar to the very similar to the tag team the v-max rule when your pokemon v-max is knocked out your opponent takes three prize cards uh, they're big guys though they're big uh, it seems like they're going to be a lot bigger than the tag teams um you know some of the bigger tag teams are like 270 to eat whatever it is they like the giratina garchomp one i think is like 270 you know charizard's big as well i forget his exact hit points but um, anyway, it seems kind of similar to a tag team, uh, type of mechanic where you get the extra prize cards. Um, I mean, it hits big. I mean, what's cool about this one is you hit for 200 damage and you get to draw three cards. That's pretty insane. Oh, do 200 damage to your Pokemon, draw three cards. Okay. You know, and then what he evolves from is the V, you know, he's got payday, 30 damage, draw a card. And then Slashing Claw for 130. Um, he has pretty much like an EXGX type of uh, mechanic with the V-Rules. Pretty much kind of like that in my opinion. Well, it pretty much is. Not really in my opinion. It, it sort of it basically is. It's like a GX, EX type of rule. Uh, your Pokemon V is knocked out. Your opponent takes two prize cards. So, But thanks for watching. Again, um, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Hit the like button. Take advantage of the codes. Somebody get something good. I'll see you again. Until the next time, keep on battling.